Here's another example of laying a back marker in a slowly run race. You see there, oh, misbehaving in the red with the white spots. Going to drop out last and drop to the fence. And I like looking at this strategy in a big field. You've got about 12 to 15 horses, most of them in front of you, and you're stuck on the fence. So you've now got to ride for luck already this early in the race. So the jockey at this point has only got two choices. He stays on the fence and tries to get in front of those six horses in front of him, or he has to try and find a run through the middle. Or I suppose he has a third option of pulling really wide and going around the field. And that's probably the most risky strategy, but it's a last resort. So he's going to try and look for a run up the inside. If that doesn't happen, he'll look for one through the middle. And if that doesn't happen, he'll have to come around the outside. And that's what he's going to do in this race. And they're going pretty quick up front, so he's got a chance. If he could get the run, he could win. But you see them packing up in front there. The widest horse is about six or seven wide. Now he's come off the fence and he just got checked there and he got spat right to the outside, still last, and zero hope from this point. It's all over. So if you'd got on a nice lay just based on the position and thinking ahead of what he had to do to win and how was he going to do it, then you're in a great position. You could already be out of the trade and won, or that's probably a race you didn't need to exit. But if we go and have a look at the last quarter of the race again, mainly I'm interested in what happened on that turn just after when I laid it, which was just going up the back straight. I thought, well, he's going to have to ride it for luck, so I'll take my chance, and if he looks like winning, you can try and get out. But have a look at this. Coming up to the corner, he's really got not many options. He's still got five or six in front of him, so he can't go up the inside. There's just no way. He's going to have to come to the outside. And as he tries to do it here, look, he checks off the heels there, and then that same horse just pushes him wider and wider and wider, giving him just absolutely no hope. He was never going to win from out there anyway. But you try and set up your lay before they get into this position you're looking at what might possibly happen. Try and read the race a bit and look at a horse right back there on the fence in a slowly run race and thinking, well, what does he have to do to win and is he likely to do it? And this, clearly, he wasn't. <laughs>